the robot uh, understands that there's something and starts tracking it. And if the visual attention field uh, becomes empty again, then it gets back to the idle state. So we, we can actually try to track different objects. associative memory, um, which basically um, draws from the robot's field of vision and then um, recalls a memory from a piece of, uh, from a piece of the image. Uh, with, what we used for this algorithm was just a simple color histogram matching. So uh, the robot will recall images in its memory based on color. Um, so you can see we receive uh, the upper left hand corner here is uh, <coughs> that's the visual attention supplied by uh, Rodriguez and Harold's uh, 3D tracker. Um, only send images. It's, start, it's it only send images when there's something of interest in the robot's field of vision. As you can see, it's not interesting right now. Um, and down here is the log polar image. Um, so that we can run it to log polar so that uh, we can get a more foveated view. So we really want to stress what, whatever is in the center of the field of the vision, because that's what we're going to be showing. And um, because of that, the tracker is absolutely necessary um, in order to suppress background clutter as far as recognition goes. Um, and up in the upper right is the reconverted image. It's kind of distorted here. But um, you can see that for this image here, it recalls this red block. but. The image is also different, so it's it's not it's not quite the same memory. Um, so if I do this with a robot now, we will find something. So he's found it. Oh. Oh, so I'm waiting for him to get on that signal. I don't know what is he doing. Yeah, it's Okay, so you can see that. Um, yeah, so right here, he's he's following you right now, but he's looking in the upper right hand corner at an old memory that he's formed, so he remembers this block based on its color. Um, similar because it is color histogram matching. If I do get him to concentrate on this block, he'll find on this because of the color, it's uh, he's recalling the block. It's the same color as the ball is. Um, okay. He also forms new memories based on based on the things that he sees. So right here you can see he's formed a new memory almost immediately. But if I lead him away sorry.
and he foveates on the image again. Okay, maybe he won't look at me. <laughs> So, see, he's tracking, is he tracking the block? And it's uh, settling on an old memory that he has in the upper right hand corner, since it's obviously not the same picture now. This can be controlled as part of uh, the cognitive architecture um, with feedback from the attention system uh, using this thresholding value that. Um, decides basically how able he is to form new memories, um, whether he wants to do that or not. Um, and it's just Oh, we set it up to not form new memories? Oh, yeah, we set it up to not form new memories while it was uh, until the head was stationary, because uh, otherwise we're finding a problem with it memorizing everything in between. Um, so, and that's so right now our threshold for determining whether to form new memories is coming from whether or not the head is stationary. So that's preventing spurious memories from being formed. It also makes a lot of sense. Yeah.